Hi there, welcome to Boxpread. Uh, in this video I'm going to be giving my thoughts and prediction on the fight that's been made between Amir Khan and Paul McCluskey, an all-British fight uh, which is scheduled for the 16th of April and it's for Amir Khan's WBA light welterweight title. My prediction for this fight is a victory for Amir Khan by mid to late stoppage. Just a quick look at the records. Amir Khan has 24 victories, one loss, no draws with a 68% knockout ratio, while his opponent, Paul McCluskey, has 22 victories, no losses, no draws, so he's undefeated, with a 54% knockout ratio. Okay, so um, just a little little word on Paul McCluskey here. Um, Whoever you thought uh, Amir Khan should be fighting, you know, we all have our opinion as to who certain boxers should be progressing on with and who they should be fighting. And I know um, a lot of um, people, we obviously want to see him fight Bradley for the to find out, you know, who's really the best in the division. Um, but there are other, other fighters who, who arguably... Um, will challenge for that position. You've got Marcus Maidana, who, although he lost to Amir Khan, put up a good fight. And um, styles make fights, so, you know, different fighters different fighters fight each other, and there are different outcomes. Um, I think Paul McCluskey deserves this chance and deserves this opportunity. He is the European champion. The obvious, obvious progression and next level up for him is to challenge for the world title. And why not against Amir Khan, a fellow Brit, in the UK, in um, Manchester, I guess it's going to be. Um, you know, I, I'm quite looking forward to this fight um, because I sort of, being British, I do know a bit of what McCluskey's about and he's no joke, you know. Um, for those who don't know a lot about him, he is a pretty skilled fighter um, and he, you know, he, he fights with his hands low um, and he can counter punch and one of the things... Um, I like about him is that um, I think he's rather skilled in breaking down his opponent. I was very impressed with his uh, last fight against Barry Morrison. Um, if you look at that fight, it's on YouTube. Uh, he he methodically just breaks down Morrison, and um, the final punch where he stop where he stops Morrison doesn't even seem like you know the type of knockout punch you'd expect. But I think I think it's just everything leading up to that. He just takes away Morrison's heart and fight by just breaking him down just using his skill, um, using his skilled boxing. Um, he's won his last few fights by knockout, uh, by stoppage. Um, you know, he's finding his rhythm now, McCluskey. And he is he has the ability, he's got 54% knockout ratio, it's not the highest in the game, but he has shown recently in his last four or five fights that he has the power to stop people, to stop his opponents. Um, you know, it's something Amir Khan has to be aware of in this one. Um, that he has got that, that sort of um, it's not devastating power, but he's got the power to end his opponents um, if if they get too careless. Um, he sort of relies on his reflexes. He's a bit like Lucien Boutet. He relies on a um, reflex to defend, so his hands are kept low, um, and he re he relies on um, you know um, he relies on dodging the. The, the incoming flurries from his opponent um, and he's been largely successful in doing so with his opponents to date um, and he also leaves his hands quite freely um, and he has got a little bit of speed where he can give on he can give the counter you know um, so that sort of um, tell you a bit about McCluskey he does have a, a decent level of skill McCluskey um, the only the only unknown we have here is that uh, McCluskey hasn't fought obviously a level of op opposition like Amir Khan, and also Amir Khan has fought a uh, much tougher, tougher, tougher opposition than McCluskey has, obviously being a world champion compared to a European champion. Um, it's just the way things go. Um, but I think in, the, in this fight, um, just talk a little bit about the negatives, um, I feel, for McCluskey in this one. Um, I think the problem is being up against um, a fighter you know, quite often when I look at fights, I don't look to see, is this fight good? This fight is good. Okay, they're both good. Where did you go from there? They're both good. I look. You have to look at, in this particular fight, do the styles match? Um, who do I think this is a bad fight for? 
or not as good a fight for. And I don't think it's um, McCluskey, um, his defense in this fight is going to be possibly his undoing for me um, against a guy with speed and power like Khan, um, who is um, very offensively gifted. Um, and I think against the opponents McCluskey's had so far, he's been able to keep his hands low. He's been able to rely on the on slipping the punches against Amir Khan. I think he's going to be surprised by Khan's... Not surprised. I guess he's going to do his homework on Khan, but when you get into the ring, it's a whole different story. And I think Amir Khan's speed is going to... If he's going to keep his hands low, McCluskey, Khan's going to catch him with uh, punches because he's got that speed and he's got that power. Um... He can do it to the body like he did against Maidan in the fir- in the first round of their fight, or he can you know headhunt, you know he pretty varies his punches quite well. Can, um, and I think um, compared to these opponents that he's fought so far, McCluskey's going to be a bit taken aback by Can's le- higher level of ability offensively with his speed and his power and the variety of punches that he throws from different angles. And I think McCluskey, I just have a feeling he's going to struggle, um, especially early on if Khan decides to be aggressive. He's going to struggle a little bit trying to evade the, those punches, and I don't know if McCluskey has the defence to hold, withhold that um, onslaught if it comes. Um, in... On the flip side, what does Paul? What can what can McCluskey do? What can Paul McCluskey do? What should I do? I think he should do in this fight. Um, I think he needs to be patient. You know, you can't against someone with the skill of Amir. You can't just rush in and um, you know, you don't want to give him too much respect to your opponent, but you you can't rush in and make vital errors and mistakes, or you will probably get stopped early. Um, I think he needs to be patient and take his time. And not fall too far behind in the fight, but he needs to try and um, get comfortable with what Khan's giving, giving output to him, giving out to him. Um, he needs doesn't need to take too many risks early on for me. Um, but then on the flip side, I do think that McCluskey works well. He can work well when he when he starts to break down his opponents. He starts to pressurise them, and I feel that um, if he can break, if he can start to break down Amir Khan and start countering him and maybe hurt Khan once or twice. Um, you know, not majorly, but just a, a little bit to let Khan, let Khan know, you know, he means business. He could start, he needs to start putting a bit of pressure on Khan, I feel. I think, um, I think um, Marcus Maida, Maidana um, basically survived that fight because he decided he wasn't going to fall back once Khan stopped putting him down. He came forward again. And you have to do that with Khan because Khan will run around all day. But if you let, if you leave him, he'll come forward, and you don't want Khan coming forward at you constantly. You want to match his aggression. So McCluskey needs to at least match Khan's aggr- aggression in this one. Hold his ground, stand his ground, as I thought Alexander should have done against Bradley. I said he should do that. He needs to stand his ground. He didn't. What happened? Bradley was all over him the whole fight. You need to stand your ground and show the opponent. You know, li- listen, I got power too. I'm, I'm a force to be. T- dealt with you have to worry about me just as much as i'm worried about you and that's what mccluskey needs to show can in this fight I and mean, he needs to force a mistake because one of the things i'm i have a question mark about can is i feel he loses concentration sometimes now i'm not saying you know he the thing is against maidana okay i'm not saying it was um it's completely not maidana's skill level that, that caught can but maidana was I thought I felt Maidana was telegraphing that right hand all night because that's what that was his game plan to land the right hand all night. He even threw some wild right hands that missed, um, rather embarrassingly in my opinion during that fight. Yet he still in tenth round, Khan lost his concentration and he got caught with it. McCluskey, if he keeps pressuring Khan, the longer the fight goes on, Khan could make, you know, if he disheartens Khan, if he takes Khan's punches and attack. And he throws some of his own and gets to put a bit of pressure on Khan, starts to try and break Khan down. Because I think McCluskey has the skill to break down fighters, and he could do it in this one. I think he could um, unnerve Khan, and Khan could lose his concentration and make a vital, vital mistakes. McCluskey could take um, advantage of that. Um, but uh, I think, now talking, just to move on quickly and briefly to Amir Khan, and what do I 
I think he um we know what he's about. He's got good hand speed, foot speed, he's very he's offensively gifted. He um he has an okay defence, but like I said, he loses his concentration for me and he needs to um he gets backed up too much sometimes, especially against a pressure fighter like he did against Maidana. Um but he what he does well is he shows pockets of aggression. Um and I think he needs to can continue this in this fight, like he did against Maidana. He'll back off for a bit, but then he'll come in, and like I'm saying, what Paul needs to do, Khan does this very well, he stands, comes forward to his opponent, and he, he goes on the offence aggressively, and he shows his opponent what he has. So then his opponent's a bit, like, confused. I was coming forward, but now I'm coming back, and oh, he has something to offer. So that's what Khan needs to keep doing, and he needs to do this. He show these pockets of aggression to keep um, Paul McCluskey uncomfortable. It depends how Khan... Uh, rates McCluskey because against Dimitri Salita he came straight forward and blasted Salita out of there could be the case in this fight if he doesn't respect McCluskey he come in and just he could do the same to McCluskey depending on how McCluskey holds up against that because Khan could see that low defence and think I'm going in there for the kill straight away so this could be an early stoppage um, for Khan but I've gone for the mid to late stoppage I do agree um, I was a bit unsure about this one and I thought you know Khan could win by decision McCluskey could hang in there but then I'm thinking about the low defence um, and I have question marks over McCluskey's defence um, and while I do think McCluskey does have ability and I have respect for McCluskey I do think Khan's just going to be a bit too much for him and um, I think he's going to come through on this one um, I think the people who have lasted against Khan have been Katelnik who has a very good defence a very tight defence um, and Maidana, who I've already mentioned, I feel got through that fight by taking rounds away, f taking rounds away from Khan by being on the constantly on the aggressive. From the tenth round onwards, I don't feel Khan really had the, you know, the he wasn't even thinking about getting a stoppage. He was thinking about survival. So McCluskey in this one, um, I think Khan, like I said, it could be an early stoppage. But I'm thinking McCluskey's gonna hang in there, hang, hang in on, hang in there a bit, and I'm going for um, a mid mid round to late round stoppage. Um, and um, I just I just see Amir Khan taking this one, but by no means is this. Um, I'm a bit unsure, but this could be the very easy test for Khan, or it could be a, quite a difficult one. And we're going to see after the first three rounds which one that is, which one it is. Um, so I'm going for Khan by mid to late round stoppage. Thank you for watching my video. Please leave your uh, comments. I'd like to know, really like to know what you guys think. <clears throat> Um, because you do have a lot of valid opinions, the people who comment on my videos. And also, if you want to leave some message on my homepage, I'll reply. Um, and again, please, if you like my videos, do subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Boxbread, and I'm out.